Your statement about paying a hundred million bribe to the president of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, and the prosecutor general of Azerbaijan, Zakir Garalov. Your statement about the fact that you are a business partner and the capturing of the accord companies from your hands. The crimes of the Azerbaijani authorities caused serious debate. You were forced to give $100 million to the head of the Presidential Security Service, Bailara Yubov. It is a shocking statement. Please tell us more about it. To be honest, $107 million during my tenure, I say with complete accuracy. It hasn't happened in a day. These are cases starting around 2008 until August 2010. Every time I hand over a new project or start a new job, my business partner, the Attorney General Zakir Garalov, said that it was necessary. He said we should give so much money, we should send it to the President. We granted the Minister of Transport at the time, Ziyama Madov, and he said that this should go to the President. We paid off 20% of incomes to Ziya Mamadov, the Minister of Transport at that time. We directly gave 6% to Ziya Mamadov personally and 2% to Javid Gurbanov. I have Ziya Mamadov's and Javid Gurbanov's voice recordings as well. Do you have audio recordings of your conversations with Ziya Mamadov, Javid Gurbanov, and Zakir Garalov? Yes, I have audio recordings of my conversations with all of them. Because lately, I saw that they wanted to knock me down and disposes me what I have. In order to protect myself, I recorded my meetings and conversations. For my safety, those recordings are stored in three countries. At the right time, those audio recordings will be broadcasted so that people of Azerbaijan can see who and how they make the country and what our business environment is like. Let me talk in detail about paying off Beylar Ayubov, the head of the Presidential Security Service. The prosecutor, General Zakir Garalov, who is my business partner at certain times, told me that we should give such amount of money so that they support us, so that we become a successful company. That's why we had to send this money. Even on the president's birthday, we sent money. Every time we sent money, it was related to some event. I mainly sent money with my Range Rover car. Banks were also shocked that we drew huge amounts of cash from them every time. There's a car park behind the Ramster supermarket in Baku. Sometimes me and sometimes the Kirgarov's driver, Alish, drove there. He handed it over to Bailara Yubov. Sometimes he got the car with full of money and took it, emptied and was sent the car back again. And sometimes he would empty the money in my car into his car and then left. Sorry, I'm going into a little detail and asking a question. What was the money in? Were they carried in sports bags, suitcases or what? They were sports bag and mesh bags. They were all different type of bags. I am asking these details as probing questions. In fact, the question should be asked by the State Security Service and General Prose Prosecutor's Office. These are crime actions. It is a bribe. You are forced to give the bribe to the head of the Presidential Security Service. These aren't the serious claims, statements of an ordinary person or some oppositionist. You had billions of income and capital. Your statements should be seriously investigated and investigation needs to be initiated. These questions should be asked by the State Security Service and the Attorney General's office. If they were working truthfully, clean, cleanly and within the law. But since you are a business partner with the Prosecutor General himself, and through him you gave the money to Bailara Yubov so that he could deliver it to the president. 
That's why it is unreasonable for them to initiate an investigation. You say that you met by Lara Yubov many times. He even drove your car and took the money. Ayubov and I have met in different places, many times. I also met with Ziyama Madov and had a conversation when President Ilham Aliyev came to the opening of the road we have done. About once every two months, Ilham Aliyev came to the opening of new roads, bridges, and etc. At that time, Accord was the only company of its kind in Azerbaijan. There was no other companies like this. No companies had the technology that we had. We were the first ones to start such big oil projects. I sent hundreds of people abroad to study in Germany and many other countries. In Azerbaijan, on the world quality level, there was no similar companies. We met with Beylar Ayubov in different places, different times. When I would pass on the money with the car, he would take the money from my car and return the car empty. Zakir Garalov would decide the meetings, and me, or Alish, Garalov's driver, would pass on the money. Çatırdık bunları. 